diving into our first closed deck block, which is our stage 2.5. Um, and not to get that confused, all our blocks that we do do are 2.5 liters. This is just our stage 2.5. No, in addition to the EJ25s, which are 2.5 liters, we also do the FA engine family, which are two liter based for the DIT and the BRZ series, as well as we've just started building two liter EJ20 line of short blocks. Okay, with that being said, Jim, what is the difference between a stage 2.5 versus our two tough? Uh, the most notable thing is the stage 2.5 is the closed deck cylinder support system. Uh, stock block is an open configuration and it does have some support points in it from Subaru, but okay. for what we do in performance use, the cylinders still move around and won't stay round under higher boost and higher pressures. Okay. So our system encloses all of that. Uh, and uh, helps negate you know, cylinder cracking, which the stop blocks are known for, especially next to some case bolt holes that are relieved for clearance for the bolt holes, which actually makes it thinner in that one area. Okay. So this helps negate a lot of that. Now, one thing we get asked a lot with our closed deck blocks is, do they overheat? And I'm not sure why that would be a question that we get asked a lot. I mean, I guess I can understand that with us closing up some of the block to where coolant flows through but I mean, it looks like we're still allowing coolant passages in our closed deck block for proper function, I guess. That's correct. Obviously the most notable difference, as you said, is obviously we've you know, closed off the deck compared to the stock block, which is all open. Yes. Uh, the water flow is actually controlled more by the head gasket itself. So if we overlaid this over, you'll see where the uh, stock coolant holes are uh, and you know, we've put holes in our inserts for water to flow through these, and this actually even covers up some of the holes we provide. Okay. So the head gasket is actually controlling water flow in the block and to the cylinder heads. Okay. You know, so you can see how much compared to open deck block, stock block, this closes off a tremendous amount of it. So still even with a stock block, we're still, once we put the head gasket on, we're closing some of that area that coolant would actually be able to flow through that it still is only getting through holes in the gasket to the head. That's correct. The open deck system that the OEs use is a cost savings and manufacturing ease. Okay. So they're fine for people to use in their daily drivers. Though. Absolutely. Okay. So Jim, what is the major difference between our 2TUF and our 25 for internal components? For going up to the 2.5, we go and step up to the little beefier H-beam rod, uh, compared to the one we use in our stage two tough and complement it with a uh, thicker wall wrist pin the 25 uses a 210 inch wall thickness pin it's also 9310 steel okay so still the same piston as our two tough yes we're just beefing up the wrist pin in the rod wrist pin in the rod okay same stock crank that we're using same crank same bearings okay you know clearances are adjusted for you know as the horsepower goes up okay how, how do these hold up, I guess, if somebody wants to do, make around 500 um, and they're going to do a little bit of track days here and there? Well, that's, you know, one of the purposes, you know, going with this stage of closed deck where it's a nice combination of street and track day use uh, as far as, you know, good parts that can withstand higher performance and some of the rigors of track days, okay. yet still be at home as a daily driver on the street. Okay. Are we changing anything with case bolts or head studs for this block versus the two tough? No, like the two tough, this still continues to use the OE case bolts, which are more than capable at this level. Okay. And likewise for the standard 11 millimeter head studs. Okay, from ARP. Mm -hmm. 